as I say, the whole psychology of potato rock existence is rooted in philosophical materialism, nihilism. I don't mean materialism, I want you to buy me a stuffs. Get out of that fucking stupidity. All you have to do is blather and smoke. And what it does is it turns everybody into that. Narcissists, sociopaths, which I would identify as true evil. No wee sticky labels, narcissists and shit. It's fucking evil. And all I give a fuck about is being accepted and being fucking popular. Know what's good, what's right, what's decent. They can't see beyond themselves. What do you think is going to happen to people? People talk about psychology and spirituality. What do you think is going to happen to people? What, what would you expect when that's what the base premise of their existence is? You're nothing. You're meaningless. You came from nothing. There is no rhyme or reason to any of it. The whole aim of the game is get what you can for you and fuck the rest. And oh, by the way, there's a limited amount of stuffs on what you can get for yourself, so eh, uh, See us with all the guns and the big bombs. We're gonna control it. And dangle some carrots in front of you. Which side of your head So see these fucktards that go on about what does it matter? What does it matter if the earth's a triangle or a square or a circle? Because again, that's what everybody's stuck in. Because man-made constructs of set geometries, and they kind of get their fucking stupid wee pea brains out of that way of thinking. That's what they think about. Well, if Earth's near a circle, it must it must be some other sur shape that I can push through the hole. Because they're childlike, their mentality. Well, it's near a circle, ball. All right then. Well, what is it? It must be a square. We defined squares. 90 degree angles. And what does it matter anyway? What does this to make? Ah, fucking huge levels of woke you, aren't you? For somebody to even suggest that as a fucking, some sort of reasonable question, tells me how fucking utterly retarded they are. It's ideology, existential storylines, ideology. Ideology doesn't belong to Catholics or Muslims or what. It's been used all the fucking time. It's rampant in your mainstream science, which has been pushed up there as one of the fucking heads of the, the gods. What difference does it make? Well, a massive fucking difference. We can see that wee story of meaninglessness, limited resource, we potato rocks up and through the big scary vacuum of radiation and asteroids and fucking. Oh! What do you think is going to happen when you don't fucking centralise somebody? When somebody's not got their feet planted in true objective knowing and their mind is filled with ideas? And the very base foundation of all the other ideas is where they actually think they are. And that then gives rise to all the other avenues of control that you're seeing in place right now. And you still have people rattling on about, oh, it's for wealth and power and all you know, this fucking shite. Do you honestly, at this point, still believe that this is about money? It's like they don't, they ask questions to a certain point. And then they find a wee niche that they've got a voice in. So they just want to perpetuate that because it gives them some sort of feeling of relevance and certainty. Well, my life's got purpose now because I'm diet woke and I'm talking about fucking uh, the free man movement. Or I'm now diet woke and have a sense of purpose because I'm talking about the fucking men. Why not get to the outer edges of the whole fucking lot? Ah, 
get to you what's encompassing it. Why is it all happening? What's it rooted in? I'm fucking telling you what it's rooted in. You're not what you think you are. And once we get to realise exactly where we are, see all that shite that's going on? Religions and wars about fucking resources and limited this and scarcity this, that and the other. And oh, the ozone layer and the fucking... All that just fucking goes immediately. Because once people realise they're in some sort of technology, a creative fabrication, Life isn't so serious anymore. It's no such a scary fucking thing. How are you going to scare people when people realise they're part of the infinite and the internal? There is no beginning, there is no fucking end. There's nothing to worry about. 